Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 4th, 2019. So, hey everyone, you can probably hear my voice. This cold is really trying to take me down. But I'm going to power on through and get this video made. Um, hopefully I don't uh, sneeze or cough in between. So I apologize ahead of time if that does occur. Let's take a look here at the at the market. Um, boy, yesterday was pretty darn ugly. We had um, obviously some uh, nasty, nasty selling going on. And I had mentioned um, yesterday that what we wanted to do is take a look at a short-term chart and um, see if we could actually get some follow-through um, on the buying yesterday or, or selling yesterday. And as you can see, we, we gapped down here in the morning and I actually had some folks commenting that, you know, that I was getting um, way too bearish or thinking bearish because it hadn't even gapped down and, and broken support of the intraday. But that certainly went ahead and continued on lower. So I think my caution was warranted. And then what we ended up doing is having multiple whipsaws throughout the day. We uh, moved down, whipped back up extremely fast, and then kind of chopped our way all the way back down before the end of the day, just really whipping around a lot. Now this morning, what we're looking at is we're looking at the market actually gapping up. We at one point were up over 300 points and we're gapping up right now as I look at the futures at this moment, 300 or 279 points gapping up this morning. And this is all based on, uh, you know, hopes that U.S.-China trade negotiations are progressing. So this could flop around a little bit yet today. Um, it's one of those things that's making it very, very challenging. You know, I talk with traders every single day. I do an awful lot of individual trade coaching. And um, I've run into a lot of folks here recently that wish that they would have just stopped trading about two or three months ago because their accounts would be in a lot better shape than they are now. And what's happening here is, is we, we want to trade, we want to be active, but when we're getting swings of intraday swings, uh, like we saw here yesterday, of nearly 300 points back and forth in just 15 minute candles, um, we have this ugliness going on in the market that is very, very difficult for a swing trader, position trader to handle. It really is a market that is uh, much more accessible for that really quick day trader, that, that trader that can make those instantaneous decisions really quickly moving with the direction of the market. There's money to be made there, but it is very challenging even for them because of the quickness of the market. So consider that and consider the risk as we head into the weekend. Remember, we're getting these big swings overnight. What could possibly happen over the weekend? Um, big stuff um, can certainly occur over the weekend and really move this market around. Obviously, the market is very emotional. Obviously, the market is very, very sensitive to any of this political news that continues to churn out there in the market. So plan your risk carefully as you head into this weekend. Be careful. Protect your capital. Because what we do know for sure is this volatility will one, one day drop out of the market. It will be calmer. We'll get better, clearer signals. And if you've preserved your capital and preserved your confidence in being able to trade it, you'll be in pretty good shape. But if you destroy that confidence by over trading or trying to force a trade when the market's not suitable for you to trade, you will be unable to react to the market when it starts to improve. So kind of consider that when you're thinking about your risk and your trading plan. Let's take a look here um, at the support and resistance. You can see we have a resistance level. We've talked about this resistance level several, several times. There's that resistance level that we have to deal with. 
here in the market and we have a support level down here that we have to deal with so we're bouncing around between the two of those this rally up this morning we could certainly see that rally back up to here we'll have to watch this closely if we fail at this resistance again if we do not make it through that resistance again then watch for a test of support down here keep in mind that the true v bottom we've talked about this several times the v bottom um, that everyone wants to see happen is very very rare in the market and um, we typically have this really long-term choppiness and and backing and filling and all kinds of things as we try to develop a bottom in the market and as you can see we did exactly that over here in February how much time it took as we chopped around so remember that this is not going to be a quick resolution process certainly if we get an agreement with China that will improve things dramatically if Congress can get it together and we get the government reopened and, and we start dropping some of the um, uh, political uncertainty out on the market that will certainly help as well but there's going to be a lot of work that has to be done to correct all the technical technical damage here in the chart and get us back to a better trading pattern if we take a look at, at uh, um, just basic moving averages we're obviously a long ways away from our 50-day and 200-day moving averages up here and um, a lot of technical damage that has to be um, recovered from so this won't be a quick and easy process so be patient take your time with it it will come back around we just have to wait Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, similar situation. We have a uh, resistance area up here that we're challenging, that challenged the market. And you can see we had this failure right in here that pushed us down. And we failed this resistance as well, um, or support, I should say. Um, this support right in here, we're still currently holding, so we'll want to keep an eye on that. And this rally back this morning, we'll want to watch these resistance levels right in here to see if there's a, a an additional failure in here that would continue um, that look to the downside. Um, to improve this, obviously, what we need to see is a move above hold above a support level and actually start to create some kind of an upside trend here that we can challenge these downtrend lines and and um, upper resistance levels so we've got a lot of work to do it's not going to be an easy process if we take a look at the cues cues also same situation dealing with a price resistance level you can see that it's in a little bit better situation because this morning we're gapping up and potentially moving above this little area right here that could serve as a support and you can see if i pull that back this is kind of an important area in the chart and if we can hold above that then the nasdaq might be one of the first to put the put himself in a position to really have a, a place to rally from so let's keep a close eye on that as this bounces around in here. Um, but remember, if we were to move up into these areas and fail again, then um, watch this level of support down here. IWM. IWM um, did a little bit better job yesterday. It, it did sell off some, but it held on better. Obviously, Apple was not a part of IWM and um, that certainly helped out a lot. This resistance right here though is going to be fairly important. IWM needs to get above that resistance level and if it continues to fail at this level we'll want to watch these levels down here for support and a test of those levels. If we take a look at our moving averages here you can see our moving averages have really moved a, a lot more than the other indexes down uh, to this uh, downside. So we could be starting that bottoming process here on IWM. Watch that bouncing around in here and see if we can start holding some support levels and moving on up. Let's take a look at the VIX. VIX moved up a little bit yesterday but did a pretty good job at holding right here at this resistance level so we broke down through there as support trying to hold that resistance now with this gap up this morning let's hope that that moves that fear a little bit lower this morning and we could start seeing some of that 
some of that fear drift out of the market. Breaking this little uptrend is also a good sign, seeing some of that fear drop out. So hopefully that'll move a little bit lower today. Let's take a look at T21. 22 t21 22 the four week new high new low ratio as you can see where we are right now no real clear signals as to in this as to which way we'll go we're up here about middle of the range which means we certainly have plenty of room for upside and plenty of room for downside on t21 22 so keep that in mind as you plan your your day ahead and also the risk that you carry into the weekend anything is still possible here if we take a look at the economic calendar for today, we have a couple things that can really move us around. Um, first off, this morning, we have uh, the employment situation number. That comes out an hour before the market opens. And that obviously can really have an effect on the market if we start to see um, that that number starting to change dramatically, the market will react to that. So kind of keep an eye on that employment situation number at 830 Eastern. And then we have um, Jerome Powell speaking at 1015. And I understand he's being interviewed with, um, with past uh, Fed chairs as well. And so we could see quite a little bit of movement as he speaks because the market's really, really sensitive to anything about interest rates right now. So kind of keep an eye on that. We do have some other Fed speakers today and we have some Fed speakers on Saturday listed here. And then watch out for these natural gas and petroleum status reports. They can move the market around a little bit today. So watch those closely. Let's take a peek at a few ideas here. Um, now, there's not much going on. That The market has been so volatile and so crazy. There's not a lot of charts that I would really point out as, as really good places to look. Right now, if you're looking for a long trade, um, C-R-O-N, pretty nice looking chart here. A little wedge pattern here, trying to hold a support level. It did move on up yesterday. Watch for a little rest or consolidation in here, moving over toward this trend and then an opportunity here for um, that upside move. Um, we've got some nice little trends in these little biotechs and pharmas. If you like those, remember these are quite volatile, but you can see the consistency that these are holding in on their trends. They they move around a lot, but they're holding in on their trends, and that's what we want to see is that, that consistency in a trend. Gold and gold sector stocks continue to hold up pretty well, and you can see this nice trend here on SAND, and that continues to work and looking good. You might want to look to some of those. And there's even some of the utilities that are looking pretty darn good. As you can see here in CZZ, we had this nice break above this resistance level yesterday. It's up several days in a row, so what I would probably do is wait for a little rest or a pullback, maybe a consolidation in here, looking for that next entry signal right along this trend, wherever that might be. So watch uh, CZZ. Um, that's a good one for your watch list. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click the follow me button on Facebook. Punch those thumbs up buttons. I really do appreciate that. That helps me a lot. And also, thank you to all of those who take the time to leave a comment. I truly appreciate that. And that helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks. Thank you so much for those who take the time to do that. With that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And I want to wish you an awesome, awesome weekend. Everyone, take care of yourselves. Thanks for putting up for my stuffy sounding voice. And we'll talk to you all bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone. Have a great weekend.